What do the lives of people who get their Juris Doctorate look like? Who are they and what are they doing? Join us for 2021's new show, Lawful Good. It's a show about lawyers and the trials they face inside and outside the courtroom. You'll hear of startling events with attorneys like Mike Papantonio and Ann Andrews. He starts starts the fight out in the street out in front of the client. He tries to push me in front of a bus and I grab the pole and it's just, I mean, really, it's the only thing that stops me from falling out in front of a bus. The balloon started losing descent, kind of crashed down into the racetrack. It bounced and then got some elevation and then crashed on top of the stable area, the barns. A dozen people were terribly injured by being run down by horses or thrown off. How their childhoods shaped who they would become with the likes of Darren Miller and John Morgan. They picked on me. I was I was too dark. I was too dorky. I was, my glasses were this, that. I mean, they picked on me for all kinds of stuff. Moving to Texas, where I couldn't go to the uh, public schools, when I went to private school, which was essentially all white, they treated me like I was one of their own. Because I was the oldest, I was the one grabbing the, the liquor bottles and pouring the liquor out, and her chasing after me to grab the liquor bottle, and I'm trying to pour the liquor out, and I became the defender of the children. Belief and conviction about the power of lawyers with folks like LaRuby May and Ben Glass. The financial legacy you leave for your family is less than if you were white. And so we have fought and the Stormia Denson Jackson Act has been introduced in the District of Columbia to remove the discrimination based on race and gender and the calculation of damages for wrongful death. I think it's the greatest profession in the whole world because you can be this coach to someone, this inspirational leader, and you can handle the legal side. And that's really, really cool. Being a woman in a male-dominated industry with leaders like Sarah Williams and Amy Lovely. We just can't worry about it. And I think that's, that's the place we have to get as Black women is, I cannot control how you feel about me and, and how, what you think about me. I'm just going to be me. I'm not going to change the essence of who I am to make you more comfortable. 21 days after I had a baby, I had a judge tell me to get my ass down to Georgetown. When I got there, I wasn't wearing a jacket and he asked me what I was wearing. I'm wearing whatever my fat ass will fit in because I gave birth 21 days ago. I still am cut from hip to hip. Moments of looking in the mirror and realizing things must change with trial attorneys like Mark Lanier. I remember driving back and thinking to myself, poor me, poor Mark Lanier. I'm driving home and I'm gonna have to tell everybody I lost. I started doing the logical conclusions. He won, they wouldn't have to go on food stamps. And I started thinking, oh my heavens, justice happened. What if I had used my skills to bring about an injustice? Stories of striking out on their own with entrepreneurs like Byron Brown and Ken Hardison. The TV commercial, I wanted to shoot it. And so they sent me a quote and I said to my wife, I was like, look, that's obviously an obscene amount of money to spend on a TV commercial. We're going to bet it all on Brown. She just goes, yeah, do it. I went in and, and I told the, the boss, I said, I want to take off Saturday and go to this football game. He said, well, I just don't think we can do this. And I went back to my office and I sat down and I thought about it and said, screw this. I went back in and he said, listen, I'm going to the game. I quit. Join us as we take an epic journey across America to meet extraordinary, ordinary people with a JD who are changing the world. I'm your host, Luke W. Russell, and I am honored and excited to present Lawful Good.